Hi everyone, well it's been a while since I did a vlog about chemtrails, but a lot's been going on in that department, so I'd like to give you an update. Well, first of all, you may have seen the film, uh, What in the World Are They Spraying? Uh, that was produced by Michael Murphy. Well, he's produced another film, it's called Why in the World Are They Spraying? And as the first one really gave all the documented evidence that geoengineering is being done and that it's modifying the soil and the water that you know this everything's full of aluminum barium and strontium well the second film deals more with the agenda behind the the chemtrail program I mean, what is the purpose of doing all this spring people speculate about a lot of things uh, you know everything from damaging the crops and the environment, controlling the weather to uh, spraying people with uh, swine flu or implanting them with nanotechnology. Well, the evidence really is for uh, weather modification to make the planet actually less inhabitable and for uh, soil modification so that people really just won't be able to grow their own food and all the control uh, regarding agricultural crops will be concentrated in the hands of a few very large companies like Monsanto. You know, as they've proven, the soil is, is uh, contaminated with aluminum, also barium and strontium. The aluminum in particular has the effect of uh, raising, raising the soil pH so it becomes more uh, alkaline. Uh, which is not good uh, when it comes to soil. It needs to be um, in a certain pH or things won't grow right. So if you, you tamper with that, then uh, you, what you get is, is crop failure. Um, as I said, it's, it's changing the soil and it's making it so that uh, crops will not grow because the pH is too uh, alkaline. And, and here is the huge smoking gun uh, that, that this is being done intentionally as a program. And guess what? DuPont, Monsanto, they have patents on uh, aluminum resistant seeds and another thing is that the chemtrails they're, they're touted as like you know saving us from or that the geoengineering will one day save us from global warming but they actually trap heat they, they, they make hole, uh, holes in the ozone layer they, they increase the radiation that reaches us and, and they dry things out so that they like divert the rain so they, they, people are saying how come they're not spraying in California well they're not spraying right where you're living, they don't have to. They're spraying further out, all up and down the Pacific coast, interfering with the weather fronts that are coming in so they don't dump the weather uh, on the crops in California. So anyhow, they're doing that. They're creating drought. And guess who's got drought-resistant GMO seeds? Yeah, Monsanto again, of course. And another thing is that with these crop failures, you know, people's farms are not producing. So then guess who buys the farm? companies like Monsanto. And another big smoking gun um, is that people are actually trading weather on the stock market. Like I don't understand how derivatives work. I've had this explained to me many times, but I just don't get it. All I know is that it's some kind of gambling where you're betting on stuff that doesn't exist. They can buy uh, stocks uh, for a certain crop, but they also have uh, derivatives that they buy like options on, on crop failures. They're doing that because they actually know what the weather is going to be and um, then they make money when, when the crops fail because they've been chemtrailed. This all has a lot to do with Agenda 21, the uh, agenda for the 21st century for sustainable development from the UN, which in fact is a program for uh, population reduction and control. And as they modify the environment and people are not able to grow crops, they're forced to move into cities, uh, the large corporations take control of all agriculture and once the people are in the cities it's easier to control them, it's easier to uh, poison them with vaccines and fluoridate their water and implement uh, birth control programs or, or you know even one-child policies or really whatever they want to do. Having people in the cities is definitely good for the globalist elites who want to control absolutely everyone and everything. I kind of wish that there'd been a video like this around when I first approached certain people. Oh, you mean because they spray? That's what makes the clouds? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They spray in the sky. Yeah. And and it, the and sky and you'll see. Wow. So there's all kinds of chemtrails going on up there. Yeah. Those are yeah. Those, no, those are chem clouds. Oh, those are chem clouds. It's, they're doing that. It's like some kind of conspiracy or something like that. It is a conspiracy. Hmm. I think that when it comes to things to truth people about, Chemtrails is one of the most difficult topics. It's like they just can't hear it. They'll be like, that's water vapor, man. What are you talking about? And um, it can even be like the kind of topic that'll put a rift between you and your friends or you and your family. And uh, it's, 
something that, you know, a lot of the time I've just had to come to a point where I just shut my mouth around certain people because they just don't want to hear it. And the more you try to press the issue, you know, the more they just think you're nuts. So I highly recommend this film, Why in the World Are They Spraying, as a truthing tool. And also, What in the World Are They Spraying? It's much more effective, I think, to give somebody a DVD or, or maybe trick them into watching it. Anybody who watches these films, you know, if, if they don't see the truth after that, then they must be some kind of, you know, brainwashed zombie ostrich who just doesn't want to see the truth. So you can see that this is, the chemtrails are in no way a good thing. If somebody says, oh, it's going to help the environment in some way, or it's going to prevent something, or it's to protect us from radiation, or whatever, they don't know what they're talking about. The good news is that people are really waking up, and there is um, also a conference being held, Major Chem Truther Conference, August 17th, 2012, Consciousness Beyond Chemtrails. So that's coming up this weekend in L.A. If you happen to be in L.A., um, there's going to be a lot of really great speakers there, and Roseanne Barr will be there too, and they will be uh, showing the premiere of Why in the World Are They Spraying? I think, I think our best bet is really just to raise as much awareness as possible so that it becomes impossible for them, them to get away with this. They can only get away with it because people just don't know and they don't want to do anything about it. So keep fighting the good fight. Expose the chemtrails. So thanks for listening to me, and I'll see you next time.